everyone, and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and touch on a fragrance that was released back in 1992. It's from the House of Creed. It's called Arolfa. Now, Arolfa is a fragrance that kind of flew, for me at least, under the radar, because the way that I smell a lot of Creed fragrances generally is I go to the boutique and I start smelling a whole bunch of them, kind of get a sense for what I want, and maybe I'll purchase it there, or I'll purchase it you know, with another uh, one of my friends from like Bergdorf Goodman, something like that. Within that context, any time that I smelled it, I really wasn't impressed, just because of the initial smell, uh, but we'll go ahead and get into that. Now, fragrance is available in standard Cree sizes, 4 ounce, uh, 2.5 ounce, and you know I believe there's a flacon for this as well too. Uh, the 4 ounce is going to run you about $425 retail. That said, you can find this from many discount and gray market sites. There is actually a link down there to Max Aroma where you can actually purchase this scent uh, for a much cheaper price as well. So if you're willing uh, to go that route, go ahead and check it out down below. But in any case, let's go ahead and get into the actual scent itself. Now, when you first spray this fragrance on, notes are listed on screen. First spray this fragrance on, you get a citrusy, almost floral, almost feels like a musky type of a scent too. It really does not, you know, surprise me or anything like that. In fact, it's something that I really did not enjoy. However, it reminded me very much of a lot of the standard kind of aquatic scents from the designer side, not from the Crete side. So to me it was like, okay, well this isn't really a good Crete fragrance. Hold on to that thought. Do not be fooled like I was because after about half an hour on your skin, this fragrance turns into something completely different and beautiful. The ambergris, the marine notes start coming out with this, and this becomes a much more uplifting citrusy scent that is wholly unique in it. Don't be turned off by the initial scent like I was, uh, just because, yeah, sure, for maybe that first 30 minutes, it's not going to really smell like anything special, but as time goes on, after that 30 minutes, it's going to develop into that sea salty, that ambergris, that beautiful, uh, you know, um, citrusy and marine note type of a fragrance. It does it so well, and this is you know, easily a fragrance that I had overlooked to my regret, and I was really impressed with what I was getting for this fragrance and what I did get for this fragrance. Uh, now the fragrance on my skin lasts roughly between uh, four and eight hours, so I did get some extremes with this fragrance, which isn't the best in terms of performance. It go, kind of waffles up and down for me. I catch a lot of whiffs, and I tend to catch a lot of whiffs of fragrances uh, that have their salty notes to it, just because the salt seems to kind of just waft off my skin in waves, and that's what this does. But on the lower end, I was getting about four hours. This is a great summer and spring scent, a uh, great uh, scent for warm weather. I would not kind of wear this in the cold, just because the performance on this as well doesn't seem to have that huge power that a lot of other fragrances have, or that power to cut through the cold. This one really doesn't do that too well, so I would stick to the warmer months for this. This is a fragrance that you can wear in casual situations, in work situations. I wouldn't really wear it for a date just because it doesn't really fit that scenario or that you know night out type of a fragrance. It doesn't really fit that scenario. So I would kind of refrain on there. It's a good fragrance for any age group. Spray-wise, I usually go between four and eight sprays. You can go pretty liberal with this on the sprays and be perfectly fine. And compliments, I didn't get any compliments with this fragrance. This is one more of a fragrance that I personally like rather than I would recommend for a lot of good compliments. So if I'm gonna go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give this fragrance a rating three out of five stars. Now, three out of five stars, uh, to me, this is a, uh, at the end of the day, this is an average fragrance in the whole fragrance kind of thing. Now this is a fragrance that I love. It's a fragrance that I will definitely be purchasing in the future, and I have said that that is on my short Creed list of fragrances that I am purchasing. Uh, but the reason why I'm giving it three out of five stars is one, Creed fragrances in general are very expensive. At the end of the day, this is an aquatic scent, a beautiful aquatic scent, but there are many aquatic scents that you can find that do a similar thing that uh, you can find for a little bit less pricey or less pricey of a range. Um, two, uh, the other, uh, another reason, sorry, is that the opening of this fragrance to me is a little bit of a turn off. The opening isn't the best type of an opening. Uh, it turn, develops into a great uh, fragrance, but the opening is still meh. And then finally, the performance really isn't that good. But 
all of that is weighed against the fact that I really do like this scent. It is uh, more of a scent that I wish, you know, you got to try out, see how it kind of performs on your skin, see how it performs with you, uh, and then kind of take it from there and see what you like it. So at the end of the day, you do get a solid marine citrusy fragrance that uh, does well in the warmer months and does well in casual and work scenarios. But beyond that, um, I wouldn't really recommend it for those other scenarios, all right? So that's pretty much it. Arolfa is a fragrance that I love. I'm curious of your take on it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance just because it has been out for a while. Uh, it is in the Creed line, and I really do think that they do fresh fragrances uh, the best, all right? So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.